What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel and today we're going to take a look at Heels Hauls. This is everything I picked up this week and there's some goodies. So stay tuned. A little foreshadowing for you. Hope everybody's having a wonderful Sunday. We're going to take a look at what I picked up this week, and I would love to hear about what you picked up this week. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Comment below. Love seeing what you guys are adding to your collections. Now, it is brought to you by the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia, featuring a forward by Xavier Woods, my man, right over here. The Modern Edition, 2010 to 2023 everything that's been released in those time periods if you're a modern collector you need this and it's available on amazon.com or just go to heelbooks.com but today we're going to look at what i picked up and first up is this mattel wwe championship showdown series 15 roman reigns versus logan paul logan paul's second figure in the wwe mattel line and honestly it is a great one especially for a basic Gotta love that yellow, gotta love the black, and he comes at Roman Reigns and the Universal Championship. All in all, this is a great set, so I could not pass it up when I saw it at my local Walmart. Now, next up is something that I've been wanting for a long time, and I got a great deal on it, 20 bucks. It is these vintage WWF Valentines, and it features Bret Hart, The Undertaker, Hulk Hogan, Big Boss Man on the front, how cool is this, man? These are from 1992. I think that's a Kmart sticker up there. It says 219 originally. We got Macho Man right there. We got Ted DiBiase, uh, you know, Uncle Ted right there. Very cool. Not opening these, but it's, uh, I mean, come on. Happy Valentine's Day, you know? Get these, break one off for that special lover in your life. I know y'all got one, and... Uh, let her know what you're going to do when love runs wild on you, brother. I've been wanting these vintage WWF Valentines for a long time, but I kept finding ones that weren't exactly the ones I had as a kid, so definitely stoked to have these. Speaking of having things as a kid, here's a figure I wish I had as a kid. Zombie Sailor Toys Official Wrestling Heels and Faces One Man Gang. Um, I mean, everybody loves making this face on One Man Gang figures. And it looks all right. I mean, I'm not as huge a fan of this figure as everybody else is. It does have the wrist articulation, the tattoo on the head. I mean, all the details on the gear. It is like an actual denim cloth goods jacket, which you gotta love. But um, overall, it's not my favorite Heels and Faces figure, but I mean, we can't deny they're great figures, right? There's a lot going on with this line. I do wish he had removable sunglasses. I think that would have really added to it, but it is what it is right the back card says 66450 from chicago illinois as the name implies one man gang is so big so bad he's his own gang managed by the doctor of style slick reportedly last seen in deepest darkest africa sporting a dashiki and we know what they're talking about there they are talking about akim somebody who did have a wwf hasbro so it's very cool that he has this and next up Got in the mail, finally, our 1 of 3000 AEW shop exclusive, Eddie Kingston. I love these shop exclusives, especially when they're different like this. Covered in blood, he's got a Kingston EK shirt. Obviously, we know that was a Yankee shirt and a gas can. Um, the packaging isn't extremely too special, but I mean, it's a cool figure. You know, I know a lot of people talk trash on the Eddie Kingston figures. I like this one. Love the bloody figures and the different shades of blood, dried, a little bit thinner, darker, the spatter, everything about it is very, very cool, which is why I wanted to add to the collection. But look at this shot on the back, man. He is leaking right there in his head, just dripping off of his lip there. Absolutely insane. You got to love it. And it looks awesome. And they replicated it very well for the action figure. Now, next up, I picked up some WWF Hasbros for a great deal on um, Facebook. 
Uh, these are mint on card, ones that I needed to add to the collection. Um, I am closing in on almost complete collections. Gonna be tough with that Dusty, uh, but you know, we do have a lot. Here we have Virgil. Love the shots on these. The signature right there, Virgil. The wrestling action is the bodyguard bash. Punching action, which I think is very fitting. Mr. Meat Sauce, it says Virgil, 6'2", 254 from Death Valley. Known for breaking away from the Million Dollar Man in early 91, his favorite quote is, if the right one doesn't get you, the left one will. His future ambition is to punch his way to the top. And there he is looking jacked. Awesome figure, glad to finally have it in the collection, mint on card, because we do have it loose. And next up, we got Uncle Fred, Fred Ottman, AKA Typhoon. Uh, his figure now in the pictures when i bought this i didn't realize that the bubble's a little bit yellow but it's not too too bad but it's more yellow than i would like it to be uh but look at young fred there the typhoon signature the drawing has him with a plain red singlet and it says that his move is the tidal wave let me show you that his legs move up so he can sit down uh 66 384 trademark holds the tidal wave known for no, no, no known for Formerly Tugboat, once a friend of Hulk's, now a member of the Natural Disasters. Favorite quote is, no one escapes a natural disaster. Favorite ambition, to destroy anyone who comes up against the natural disasters. And last but not least, we got his partner, Earthquake. It's crazy to think how young Earthquake here is here in this picture. It's, uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. I would have thought that he was like late 40s here. Insane. Uh... Earthquake in black, which is interesting for the signatures, and his move is the Aftershock in a plain blue singlet. Very cool figure. I always love this one. Look, we got it right there. But let's read the back. 6'4", which I think he's bigger than that, actually. He's much taller than that. I think he's like 6'8", isn't he? Uh, 460 from Canada is one of the most violent athletes in WWF. With his vertical splash, he has severely injured the immortal Hulk Hogan and caused a demise of Jake the Snake Roberts Python Damien. Despite his nasty disposition, Earthquake is a wrestling genius when he elects to be. All right, so we got a lot of retros this week, right? And next up, we're gonna talk about some more retros we got. First up, we got from Grapplers and Gimmicks. If you didn't watch the full unboxing, you definitely should. It completes Men on a Mission. We got Oscar right here, as you can see. Uh, we've already done Mo, we've already done Mabel, but now we have Oscar to complete, and I feel like he contrasts them so well, and these look great together. The purple and the yellow is incredible. He's got his removable microphone. Looks like when you turn his head, he's wrapping right into it. Love these. So thank you, Mitch, for making something like this come true. I don't think I ever would have expected to have an Oscar figure. I also didn't expect to have... A retro style Duke the Dumpster Drossy with a trash can. I mean, I wish it was painted on the inside, but, or you know what? I kind of wish that he had trash on the inside, very similar to the slop bucket. As you can see, there was slop inside of it. But I mean, I'm gonna not really be looking inside this trash can, so it doesn't really matter. The lid also goes in his hands. He's got all the fixings of a classic trash man. That like faded blue, that like faded, I guess you'd call that like an aqua green. I don't know. The gloves, the elbow pads. He's even got the back suspenders and a backwards hat. Great likeness on Duke. This is easily probably my favorite grapplers and gimmicks figure to date. And uh, I mean, they're sold out now. I don't know if more are going to go up, but if they do, I definitely suggest getting this one. This one is my favorite. And then close second is obviously Mabel. But yeah, that was our gets for this week. Um, let me know which one is your favorite and your favorite thing you got this week. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Twitter is at The Fig Heel. Pick up the wrestling figure encyclopedia available now on Amazon.com or Heelbooks.com. And make sure you join Whatnot at WhatHeel.com to get $15 off your first purchase. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Thank you for joining, and happy Sunday. Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need Fig Heels Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia, the modern edition covering all releases from 2010 to present day. Featuring over 5,000 photos of action figures from the hottest brands, including independent toy makers. 
Keep track of what you have, want, and need, including loose, mock, and overall collection value. With a Ford by WWE superstar Xavier Woods and shots by Matthew Goldberg, the Wrestling Figure Encyclopedia is a must-have for collectors. Premium, full-color, and value black and white editions available now on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Join my official sponsor, Whatnot, at WhatHeel.com and receive $15 off your first purchase.